Hi there, I would like to introduce my latest app, Smart Trade. Once you purchase and install my app, you should see a new ribbon tab showing these icons. You can check your license anytime by clicking the Smart Trade Info button here. This type of Autodesk license more or less needs continuous internet connection or at the bare minimum a connection time to time. It is important that you have to have my Python cable tray app installed as well. And you have to select one pipe spec made from these cable tray scripts. You can select my demo spec as well, but you can create your own. The only important thing is to have the cable tray elements created from my scripts. So let's just place a generic TP somewhere, 00, zero let's say and I will connect some straight cable trays. You know, this is the normal way with my scripts. You have to change the length in the properties window. This is a little bit gimmicky, but this is what I could do. This was kind of a limitation in Plan 3D when editing straight parts, which are not pipes. But from now on, you can change the length of any cable tray without going into the properties. Just click on them and click where they should end. That simple. This can be done with the tray length feature. The app will change the length of the cable trays accordingly. You can also just simply enter a value for the length in case you need a precise value. It will work as well. Also, you can use the plus symbol at the end of the tray element and just draw pipes. Then go to the Smart Tray app and click on the pipe replace. This command will replace the pipes with the specs cable tray, so that's why it is important to have a cable tray type spec selected. And as you can see, all the connections will remain and all the proper sizes will be selected. If something happens and you want to change everything back to pipes to make the endpoints work again, it is no problem as well. You have tray replace. And as you can see, you can change the trays back to pipes. Then let's say I add the red user and additional pipe with different size. And pipe replace will also work. It will select the correct size tray from the spec. Just remember to have the correct size trays available in the spec. From now on, you can also generate a list of the cable trays as well with just one click. This is a CSV file and this will list all the straight cable tray items with the size and their length as well. If you want to see the length of the straight cable trays in the report creator or on the isometric drawings, one good thing to do is to have these lengths in the description of the parts. And with tray name button, you can do exactly that. Just select the trays and the L1 value, the length of the cable trays, will be added to the long description size. You can change many settings with the Smart Tray Settings button. Here you can change what name is changed, short description or long description size, and you have the settings for the list as well. You can change what is generated into the CSV file. This was a brief introduction to my new app's capabilities. Thank you for watching and see you until next time.